Nigeria may disintegrate if LBA splits. Senior advocate of Nigeria warns. Hello, welcome to our today's edition of this program. We are the Nation Voice, the revealance of government of secrets. And today we shall be talking on the topic that we have on our table today, which is raising a lot of dust in regards to the just concluded Nigeria Bar Association 60th annual anniversary. And we are going to be reading out the full details of this news to you all. Before we go forward, in case you are just hearing about us on this channel for the first time, please, we say you are highly welcome. Do not forget to help us hit that red subscribe button and also the little bell by each side so that whenever we bring a new update, it will come to you straight away. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, let us just go straight to the details of this news. A senior advocate of Nigeria, son Mike Osekome says, people will start calling from Southern Nigeria Army, Southern Nigeria Navy, Western Nigeria Air Force, Eastern Nigeria Task Authority, Midwest Maritime Authority, if the Nigerian Bar Association is allowed to disintegrate. Following the controversy that traved the withdrawal of invitation to Nancy Erufa, governor of Kaduna, as a speaker at an ABA conference, some aggrieved lawyers indicated interest to leave the association which they accused of bias. They later announced that they have floated the new Nigeria Bar Association, NNBA. However, speaking at the visual annual general meeting of the NBA on Friday, Osekome said most members of the bar will resist any attempt to form a parallel association. He said, people are trying to knock the head of NBA members against each other by introducing religion and ethnic connotation to a male innocuous disinvitation of my very good friend, Malam Nancy Erofa. For those trying to form an alternative bar, please let me use this oxymoron. Make haste slowly. Don't go that way, he said. When the tongue and the teeth disagreed, Inside the same buka cavity, with the teeth biting the tongue, they sooner than later settle because they need each other for the tongue to help to speak up and for the teeth to help to masticate the food that the tongue itself will enjoy. So drop all these issues of trying to form an alternative bar, whether you call it new NBA or progressive NBA, it is not going to work. The progressive forces in this country within the bar, the elders of the bar, most members of not all, senior advocates of Nigeria who know where we are coming from, will resist it. He said, if one fashion is formed by aggrieved northerners, soon lawyers from the south, east and west would also want to create their own fashion of the bar. The reason is that when you begin to create a different bar, Let's say, for example, Northern Bar or New Bar. The people very soon are going to start calling for Southern Nigeria Army, Southern Nigeria Navy, Western Nigeria Air Force, Eastern Nigeria Task Authority, Midwest Maritime Authority, he said. We will begin to hear of Southern Nigeria and NPC, Central Bank. Where are we heading to? That is nothing but bankanization of Nigeria. God forbid Afghanistan, God forbid USSR, God forbid Sudan, God forbid Ethiopia, God forbid Indian Pakistan and Bangladesh, God forbid another Nigeria Biafra program. All right, my great and wonderful people, that is the news that we just received from the senior advocate of Nigeria, Mike Osekome where he forewarned Nigeria to remove their mind for disintegration of Nigeria Bar Association just due to the idea from the Northern Group of Lawyers where they disagreed with Nigeria Bar Association for disinviting the governor of Kaduna State named Erufaid. All right, before we leave you all to share your opinion with us on the comment section, one thing we have to say because Sometime or a few days ago, we received this very news where they said they are going to form their own allies of bar association, removing themselves 
from the original plans of Nigeria Bad Association just because their invitation didn't go in line with their own vision. So now what we are trying to bring out here is that this one has proven beyond doubt that these people, they are already set to remain on their own because their action has proven it beyond every reasonable doubt that they have already gotten themselves prepared to stay on their own. Because if you can see, every little thing that happens in this country, it provokes them to make a decision, critical decisions of which no other part of the nation can even think of. So what are we saying here? What are we debating about here again? And another thing that we want to ask like a question here is that, is it really the Southeast or the Southwest that is forcing these people to remain in this contraction called Nigeria? Because their action has proven to us that is the Southeast leader or the Southwest or the Middle Best that is forcing these people to still remain in this bond. Yes, because it's just like, you be loyal to those that does not want you. This is just the way it looks like. Because several times we have received the news where Mieti Ala, Keuta Orem, has warned Nigeria several times that if they should carry out a certain action, they are going to go on their own. They are going to cause a havoc that will make this country not remain a single entity. But now, we are still saying some part of Nigeria or some part of the leader from the Southeast She's saying that we want presidency. We want to remain like this. We want to remain like this. I don't really understand this very clear fact. Who is forcing who to remain in this entity called Nigeria? This is the question we are asking. I believe that we all should go on investigation to really know this very fact because I believe it is the only way that we understand the reading of a tune that we can be able to dance very well to that tune. Because the way things are going now, it seems like we are even the one forcing them to abide by the rule of one Nigeria. All right, my great one, uh, before we call it a conclusion to this very meeting or this broadcast, I just want to leave you all to watch this very video and we will come back for the conclusion. <laughs> my great and wonderful people i believe we all have seen this video between the nigeria army and also a group of fulani protesters you see even to the extent the nigeria army a general the cap on his hair fell down just because he was begging the nigeria army not to fire at the protester you see it if this kind of relationship or love between the force and a protester can exist in this country, then if we might likely to ask this question, what happened to this same law regards to the protester whenever the Southeast or the Southwest lift up their voice in protest of any kind? What happened? It's just a gathering in the other day at Enugu 
that they kill 21 people just on a gathering. Then similar thing, just like, okay, the Fulani men are destroying our farm or whatever they want to, or maybe the, the EDG want to react, we all see how the Nigeria police or a Nigeria force reacts to the citizens. Then what now happen when we are not talking about the Fulani herdsmen or the Fulanis? You see the outcome of everything. Then this one also bring us to what happened some time ago. You know, when this group of Nigeria was stranded in China, when they were back coming home and they have no money and there was no means or possibility of returning them back home. You know, even to the extent, the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs even make an announcement saying that any Nigerian that want to return back home, they are going to pay their tea fare. Although the federal government is going to provide aircraft for them, but they are definitely going to pay for their fares. Then, there was a oh, just ordinary one man, just a single man, on a placard that went to the House of Assembly. Then, asking the, the people there to please help these people. They don't have money in their hand. They are stranded. We have this video ever since, but it was a, a, an old video. We don't want to publish it. You know, something brought about this very issue now that makes us to get a reflection to this very issue. Then, if only one person, no, this is not a group of people that will say, okay, because they are on group, maybe they're meant to cause havoc. No, this is just a single person. In the process, as we were watching that very video, if you see how the police that was at the gate rough handled this brother, even to the extent the, the camera they were using to do this very, make this very video fell off and everything went off the stage. Why are we saying this? Just a single person, no. It was not with class, neither was he with stick, nothing, just on a plot card. They mishandle a person like that. But look at a group of people that are on protest. Look at what happened to them. The other day, August 5th, revolutionary protests went online. Look at what happened to the people that were, were involved in that protest. And so on and so on. If you want to continue naming these things, you will see what we are talking about that we are not just against these people for just say we want to cause propaganda or misconduct between two ethnic groups. No, there is more to this very all actions that we are seeing before our very eyes. Yes, because we asked a question before that who is forcing who in this by force marriage? We have to do a lot of investigation. Because a lot of things have proven to us that these people, that are, they are not even interested in this name, One Nigeria. No, they are not. Because if a thing can happen just because they did not invite Nancy Erufai, the governor of Kaduna State, to be a speaker in Nigeria Bar Association, now the, the group of lawyers of the northern side decided to say they want to form their own group. They want to leave Nigeria Bar Association group to form the Northern Group Bar Association. This is what is on ground now. That is the reason why Barrister Asekome said that if this should happen, they should know that Nigeria is at the brink of breaking up. Okay, now, if this one is already been proven, tell me, and so many, whenever there is being any little move or whatever, we always receive information of a writing or a video warning to tell the Nigerians that we are ready to cause havoc if there be any move or if there be any reaction. Has this one in any way proven to us that these people cherish the unity of this country? Or they want to uphold the peace and harmony of living together, this coexisting? It has not proven any issue in this manner. So why are we, the Southerners and the Easterners, by forcing ourselves? I'm sorry to use this very word because it seems to me that we are not the one by forcing ourselves in this union. All right, I will just end my comment here and leave the rest for you people to please answer for us on the comment section. If you believe that, yes, our view 
is just maybe an opposite of what the thing is. I just want you to leave your comment for us on the comment section. And also, we want to use this moment to appreciate each and every one of you that stays with us up to this moment. God Almighty, we bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And please don't forget to help us share this broadcast so that it can get to our brothers and sisters all over the world. As you do so, God Almighty, we bless you in Jesus' name. We would like to end the broadcast here now. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.